Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for taking the time to subscribe. So many new subscribers. Thank you for being part of this weather community and actually taking the time to do that. Now, the worst dust is moving in. It's going to last days. I want to get into that. Plus, tropical development in the eastern Pacific, the potential of some development in the Caribbean as we get down the road. I want to cover those two spots, and then I want to look ahead at some new areas that are going to get some heavier rain. So lots to bounce around with in this video. But here we are in the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, here in this yellow and orange shading. That is that big surge of dust that has been moving in over the last couple days. For some of us, it's going to get even worse and it's going to stick around. So let me break it down specifically. And here's a map I don't often show you. And when I see some of these yellows popping up and especially some of the reds and oranges, this is Trinidad and Tobago. We're looking at unhealthy to very unhealthy levels of air quality. Very uh, sensitive uh, to those, uh, to you, if you have any breathing issues, the air is going to be a big issue as it already has been. Uh, could it just impact your eyes and just uh, the breathing? But if you have any breathing issues, that's a huge issue. But anywhere from really Guadalupe South down through parts of Venezuela, we have a lot of that dust around. Now here's the breakdown of it. Here's the Caribbean. We have, look at this big stretch coming in from Africa, following the trade winds. We have some of the dust that's already moved in. This is today. Now, where you see this kind of tan shading, that is some thick dust that is with us. So this is today. Uh, we're going to see it working its way into the Central Caribbean. As we go on time, look at tomorrow. By tomorrow, so this is our Wednesday, it stretches all the way back into Jamaica, ABC Islands, parts of Columbia, clipping by Haiti and the DR. So not just the Eastern Caribbean, it moves across. This is our Wednesday. Now let me move you from Wednesday into Thursday and you see the surge right there and this is pretty thick. So it's not just a layer of dust, but this is some thick dust and this is by Thursday. We are locked in Eastern Caribbean and getting closer to Central America at this point. So we have the dust here. It looks like it may want to break up a little bit, but as we work our way into Friday, we are still dealing with it. And then on Friday, it's going to stretch back toward parts of Central America. Nicaragua and Honduras will have some lower air quality. But this in here, Friday into Saturday, in the Eastern Caribbean, another bump up in some of the dust. This right here, it's hard to see, but some darker tans and kind of that browner color there. It's going to be even thicker once we hit Friday and Saturday for some of us right across the Eastern Caribbean. And then you see it here clipping by the Yucatan of Mexico and Cuba. So it's really several rounds of dust that are kind of connected. This is going to last all the way into the upcoming weekend. Now with it, we're trying to find some rain. Many of us have been way too dry, while others have been dealing with some flooding in some locations, seeing some scattered showers in parts of the uh, Eastern Caribbean. But as we get toward Costa Rica and Panama, we're going to see more moisture building. You see some here. This is not uh, tropical in nature. It's not spinning up or anything uh, uh, trying to develop. But this area here, we're going to see a flare up of moisture over the next couple weeks. And that's what I was mentioning yesterday. I'll monitor the central and western Caribbean for the end of the month. Very warm water temperatures, 30 degrees Celsius, 86 Fahrenheit. So eventually there could be some tropical development there. So kind of switching gears, watching out for some tropical development. So the dust and the tropics this time of year. Now, here's where we're going to see some development. Here's Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. Next week, we'll get some development in here. Water temperatures are a lot warmer in the Eastern Pacific, and that's why the hurricane season here starts earlier, just days away. It starts May 15th. Water temperatures right in here, 31, 32 degrees Celsius, 31 degrees Celsius, or 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That is very warm, and what's gonna happen is the atmosphere up above is gonna be pretty stable, and we're gonna see a surge of moisture in here. So I'm gonna jump back to the Caribbean in a second, but let me take you out on time. This is later today. So Costa Rica and Panama, I'm just gonna run through it. The next several days, the rain chance is gonna be higher. We'll watch out for some flooding in spots. So let me just uh, take away, this is by Friday. You see it here. Look at this moisture with me building, and then look as we get into the weekend, start to see a little bit of a circulation every now and then in there. But once we get in the next week, this is early next week, more rain there. And then look what happens by the middle of next week, we'll start to get some signs of development here just off the coast of Guatemala and El Salvador. The potential by the middle and end of next week of a tropical depression or the first tropical storm developing on the eastern Pacific side. Now, what happens with this after that? 
a little bit far out to tell. Uh, there are some indications with based on the steering conditions that this may eventually, whatever this is, kind of swing back toward the north, toward Mexico or Guatemala. So heads up in Central America, Eastern Pacific side, there could be a tropical storm developing as soon as next week. And you see the difference here on the uh, Pacific side, Eastern Pacific, hurricane season starts earlier and it ramps up quicker. So things get going very quickly. And that's why I'm seeing some of those signs of development. While on the Atlantic side, this is the Atlantic, things are a little quieter earlier. And then eventually, especially as we get toward August, September and October, you get a huge peak in some activity. But as I was showing you in the Caribbean, the water temperatures are very warm for this time of year. That can lend itself to some development. But other factors are out there. Instability, uh, seeing how stable the atmosphere is, if there's dry air, any dust around. So lots to watch, but we should get some development over here. Now for today, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, scattered rain and storms again. And then you see here by tomorrow, I was showing you this yesterday, Northeastern Caribbean, we may get a bump in the rain chance. I'm really hoping we get some rain over toward uh, Anguilla, even Antigua and Barbuda. St. Martin, the rain chance will be a little higher. Then on Thursday, that disturbance starts to slide away. Still some scattered showers, way too dry for us in Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago. Not only do we have the dust around, but in a lot of this, we have smoke from some of the uh, wildfires that many of us have had. Let me know in the comments if you've had any of the smoke around, but as we work our way into Thursday, see Costa Rica and Panama, Colombia, higher chance of rain, not much ABC islands, Guyana and Suriname, the rain, but just to the north, get over toward Trinidad. We are mainly on the dry side, pop-up storms for us in Cuba. So let me break down the rain chance and then get into the forecast. I want to take you to some different spots. Now you see here, Eastern Cuba, better chance of some rain and storms, but again, the DR and parts of Puerto Rico, we could have a few spots that get over 75 or 100 millimeters of rain, three to four inches of additional rain that would lead to more flooding and mudslides but the rain chance going down some in Jamaica. So if you do get some rain, 25 millimeters or an inch of rain, if we get a shower or storm across Jamaica, let me know what you get throughout the uh, day and uh, I'll keep you posted as well. I'll be watching those comments as we go through the day. Puerto Rico, the next uh, few days, uh, 75 millimeters or three inches of rain, but it could be higher, especially as we get towards St. Croix again, we could get some spots getting four inches of some rain. We'll keep an eye out for some additional flooding. Then we swing down here. We've been so dry in Belize, right? We've been so dry and so hot in Belize, parts of Honduras and Nicaragua, just to the south. That's where we'll get some heavier rain, especially on the Pacific side, where we'll get over 100 millimeters of rain, upwards of 150 millimeters of rain, or six inches of rain over the next three days as that rain chance gets higher. Now, in the U.S., once again, headed toward the Ohio River Valley, a chance of severe storms today. There were those tornadoes last night especially over toward parts of Oklahoma and Kansas or some devastation there. Another severe weather threat that's going to break out there. These fronts stay up to the north, so lots to track this time of year. I mentioned the dust, the wildfires, watching out for the chance of some development over here, but to the north this time of year, you get some big fronts moving by parts of the U.S., and then they start to work their way up toward Canada. By Wednesday, another flare-up of some rain and storms right through here, and they're watching some of those scattered showers, especially in the northern Caribbean, Bahamas, mainly on the dry side, another flare-up of rain and storms here by the time we get into Thursday, not catching much of a break. Very progressive uh, systems, uh, or pattern rather, parts of the middle and eastern U.S. And then these systems that are over here kind of swing back toward the Atlantic region of Canada, staying unsettled again. Scattered showers possible today. This is as we get into later today, New Brunswick, back toward a Newfoundland, and then watching another little impulse here. You see it working its way toward Nova Scotia, Maine, northern New England. By the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, some of that rain around, and then another system coming in. Once again, you see this approaching by the time we get into Thursday. So breakdown for Jamaica, we're looking at a 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms. We flip over to the Cayman Islands, mainly dry. By the way, there's been some earthquakes the last few days. I'm also monitoring that. I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago, the dust around, the very, very low air quality the next several days, which may stay with us into the upcoming weekend. And we're looking at that too in Barbados, some of the dust. Let me know what you get. We've had some such haze around, especially with some of those fires. St. Lucia, the rain chance stays minimal with some dust. Grenada, we are too dry at this point. Only a slight chance of a shower. And St. Vincent, the Grenadines, watching that low air quality. Rain chance, very minimal. 30% chance for tomorrow in Martinique. And a 20 to 30% chance the next three days in Dominica with some of the dust. 
Rain chance 20 to 30% in Guadalupe and a 40% chance, little higher Antigua and Barbuda. Watching the Northeastern Caribbean for the slightly higher chance of rain. So let me know if you get some of those showers. You see Anguilla tomorrow, St. Bart's rain chance, at least it's up, a 50 to 60% chance of scattered showers. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia unsettled, some passing showers possible. Puerto Rico watching out for the flood potential. Again, as we go throughout the day and watching those rivers in Puerto Rico, a lot of the rivers are running on the high side. So if we get some rain dumping nearby or at least in the basin, that could lead to additional flooding. And watching that flood potential, talked about that earlier for the U.S., and British Virgin Islands. Dominican Republic, mudslide threat, flood threat will continue. Even into parts of Haiti, scattered showers and storms possible. Only a 10 to 20% chance in the Bahamas of rain, mainly the Southern Bahamas. Turks and Caicos today, 40% chance, 30% chance for tomorrow. Cuba, isolated storms, Eastern end, the better chance. Belize, we are mainly dry, mainly dry. The Yucatan and Mexico, hard to find some rain at this point. Aruba, Curacao and Bonaire, mainly dry. May see a few showers sneak in. We'll be uh, watching that over the next uh, couple days and watching the dust that will be with us. Bermuda passing shower chance, but Costa Rica and Panama, the elevated chance of rain and the flood threat around the next several days. Guyana unsettled, rain chance going up in a 60 to 70% chance in Suriname. Venezuela, some spotty showers possible, also watching out for some of those wildfires. So a major dust outbreak. It's the worst of the year so far, and it's going to continue right through the end of the week and potentially into the upcoming weekend. Yet on top of that, watching out for some areas of flooding. The DR, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Costa Rica, and Panama, watching that flood uh, threat getting higher. Even Guyana and Suriname in, uh, seeing some signs of some development in the Eastern Pacific by the middle and end of next week. A tropical storm, first one of the season, could be developing on the Eastern Pacific side. So a lot going on here, clearly. Let me know what you have or don't have. And again, thank you for getting the word out about this channel and sharing it with your community. I really appreciate that. Have a wonderful day ahead and stay safe.